There were twelve disciples Jesus called to help him Simon, Peter, Andrew, James' his brother John Philip, Thomas, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus That is Simon, Judas, and Bartholomew There were twelve disciples Jesus called to help him Simon, Peter, Andrew, James' his brother John Philip, Thomas, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus That is Simon, Judas Jesus called to help him Simon, Peter, Andrew, James' his brother John Philip, Thomas, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus That he is Simon, Judas, and my problem you He has called us to, he has called us to We are his disciples, I am one of you hey! He has called us to, he has called us to We are his disciples, I am one of you fun ways we can do then we get back together and I just don't know when that's gonna be I don't know. you know I bet that Jesus's disciples were sad when he left them too yeah yeah what friends do you miss the most let's see friends I miss the most besides our friends of course yeah well I miss my theater friends mm -hmm. I haven't been doing that in a while so I miss those friends yeah yeah I miss my sister-in-law I haven't seen her in a while I get to see some of my friends here but I really miss Aaron and Jeff Mm. Yeah, lots of people that I miss. Yeah, but it's good to have friends. It is, you know, in, in creative ways to stay in touch with them. Have you been emailing and calling and stuff? Yeah, yeah. texting. Stuff. I like to do um, um, house party with my friends. Oh, oh yeah, yes, that's, that's a lot of fun because you can play games. Yeah, Jesus had friends too, didn't he? Yeah. What were their names? What are they called? Mm. Do you remember? Disciples. Disciples, and how many were there? 12. 12 disciples. And that is what we're going to talk about today. Because Jesus had 12 friends. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. More than two handfuls. 11, 12. There we go. 12. <laughs> that helped him tell the stories. And I want you to get out your little packets. Because I got to color today. See? Look. Who do I have? I have James. See? Who do you have? Andrew. Um, Thaddeus. I got to color them and I bet you guys can do a better job. <laughs> but what we're going to do is Reed and I have each chosen a story and we're going to tell you a story about the disciples. Now you have to pay attention because I, what I want you to do is then you have to video yourself using your disciple sticks and tell us a story so that I can see you guys are learning even though you're home. They can do that, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So here's my story. We're going to pretend this is a boat. So. All the disciples were out in a boat. Let's put all the disciples in the boat. Let's see. Oh gosh, it's a full boat. <laughs> there we go. They were on the boat and they're just rolling along, rolling along, rolling along. You want to row the boat here? Sure. It's just rolling. You get kind of seasick. I sometimes yeah. do. And all of a sudden, they looked out on the water and who, but who do you think this is? Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus was walking on top of the water. Can you walk on the water? I cannot. I can. Oh. Yeah, when it's frozen. <gasps> <Boom, boom. laughs> <laughs> so Jesus was walking on the water and he walked up to the boat and they were amazed. They were just wondering how he did that. And then, can you guess who I'm going to pull out? Can you guess? Mm. Simon Peter got out of the boat. <gasps> Do you think he's gonna swim or sink? And he started walking on the water towards Jesus. But sometimes when we think we're really full of ourselves, sometimes we look around and we get scared and that's kind of what Peter did. 
He looked around and he got scared and he started to sink. Uh-oh. And what do you think Jesus did? Jesus brought him back up and he said, you need to have a little more faith, Peter. And so then Peter was able to walk on water. That's a pretty amazing story because like I said, I can only walk on water when it's frozen. But yeah. Do you have a story you want to share? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So let's see where is he. You're looking, okay. And then I'll take, okay, I'll take these. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, you want me to tell you the back story? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the back story to this one is in my hand needs to hold all the disciples. All the disciples were gathered in one room after Jesus had died. And they didn't know he had come back to life yet. So they were very sad. Give me your sad face. Very sad. And they were very worried. They were scared. See, they're shaking. Yeah, I'm good at that. Yeah. They're shaking because they're so scared. And then all of a sudden, the doors were locked. All of a sudden, Jesus comes in through the door, through the door, even though it was locked, what? and showed himself to the disciples. That's crazy. Now, do you think the disciples were excited or not? I'd be scared. I would be too. But he always says, do not, do not be, be afraid. afraid. Those are like the best words in scripture. Do not be afraid. And so Jesus told them not to be afraid. And then he left. And so all of the disciples were busy talking and telling each other and all excited. And then they looked around and they realized somebody was missing. Who's that? Matthew. Oh, it's supposed to be Thomas. Well, I picked up the wrong puppet. Yeah. Well, we'll <laughs> pretend it's Thomas. Yeah, this is Thomas. So Thomas wasn't there. Hmm. And so Thomas came and hung out with them. We saw Jesus. You wouldn't believe it. He's back to life. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. He came in right through these locked doors. I don't believe you. Oh, yes. You have to believe us because he came and we saw him. Nope. Not buying it. <sighs> Thomas doubted them. Thomas. Yes. <laughs> Thomas doubted them. And then, because Jesus always finds where we are. Do you know what Jesus did? They were still scared because they didn't know what to do. Right. So they're still scared. They're still sad. Sad face. And then they locked the doors. And what do you think happened? I bet someone came back. Jesus mm -hmm. came back through the locked doors, walking on water, coming through locked doors. This man must be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And when he got there, he said hi to his buddies. Hi, hi, hi. High five, high five, high five. And then he saw Thomas. What? Thomas, do you believe? Well, I have to. You're in front of me. Yes. Well, you should put your hands. Look at my hands. See where the nails were? Hmm. And look at my feet. They're still scarred. Whoa. And look at my side. Whoa, it is you. It is me, Thomas. So even though you doubted, do you believe now? I do. So that tells us that even when we doubt God, he still finds us. And that's pretty cool, that I have to say. So you guys in your packets that'll be on your doorstep are supposed to be taking your disciples together and then, but see that's Dee and she can't come in through locked doors. So she's pretty much not Jesus. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll remind her of that. And then I want you to tell stories. Can you do that for us? And then video them and send them back to us. What are some other stories that they could tell? Hmm. I remember the story about the lepers. Remember oh, yeah. when there were all the lepers and Jesus healed them with mm -hmm. his disciples? And then how many of them came back and said, thank you? A lot. Nope. Just one. <laughs> Just one. 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 One leper came back and said, thank you. Wow. I think we need to say thank you more often. Yeah. What other stories are there that are really cool? How about Peter? I know a lot about Peter. Peter, yeah. when, when Jesus said, you're going to deny me three times. And what animal was that with? Do you remember? The rooster? Yes. Can you make a rooster call? Cock -a -doo -doo. Oh, that's pretty good. So you're going to deny me three times before the rooster crows. And Peter did. Yeah. And then he realized he was wrong. Let's see. What else? Oh, one of my favorite ones. How about the one where they're all in the boat? They're all in the boat. We got our makeshift boat here. And Jesus is with them. Okay. They're all in the boat. Jesus is with them. And a storm comes up. He makes sounds for a really big storm. And it was really scary. And, and they, they were scared as they could be. And they said, Jesus, 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 help us. Help us, Jesus. And do you know what Jesus was doing? Do you remember? 
He was asleep. The disciples said, Jesus, Jesus, wake up. We're going to die. And so Jesus wakes up. He probably rubbed his eyes. Yeah. Looked yeah. up at the storm that was really big. And he says, peace, be still. And the waves obeyed him. That's another cool story. That is another cool yeah, story. Yeah, that's a good one. You guys could tell us that one. Oh, there's lots of stories in scripture. So I want you guys to find one. And this is your offering for the day kind of like a gift that we give back to the church. Yeah. So you get to video yourselves and send it to us so we can share it with everybody else in church. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put a video in of the call of the disciples, how Jesus called them. Some of them were fishermen. Yeah. What was Matthew? Do you remember? Hmm. Tax collector. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He probably wasn't very, people probably didn't like him that much. Probably not. But he loved Jesus, so that's pretty good. Yeah. And Jesus forgives us. Okay, let's have a prayer. God, we thank you for today, for your disciples. We thank you that you find us even when we're scared and hiding behind doors. We thank you that you, when we even think you're not there, you always are and you step into our lives and calm the waves. And we thank you, Lord, that we have this opportunity to share your good news with the kids and the community. Amen. So, that's the disciples. It's pretty cool. Do you know the disciples song? I don't think I do. Yeah. I'm going to play it for them because I want to see if any of you guys can learn it. And if anybody of you, mm. any of them can actually learn all 12 disciples' names, I think we need to come up with a prize. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, we'll definitely have a prize for the videos too. Yes. Yes. Um, what could it be? Mm. You get to clean out Monty's litter box. You, that, yes. Perfect that's a great surprise. surprise. Yeah. Yeah. No, something better? Yeah, maybe a little okay. bit better than that. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. The Holy Tales. Hello, I am Tabby, and these are my friends, Gumbo and Freckles. And that is Holy, and she'll tell us a story from the Bible. Holy, wake up. are back. Of course. So which story are you going to tell us today? Well, today's story is about how Jesus chose his 12 disciples. Jesus began teaching people about God and challenged them to turn away from their sins. There were many people who followed Jesus because they truly believed his teachings. But there were some who followed him only because they were curious about him. Jesus chose 12 men to be his special students, who came to be known as Jesus' disciples. Most of the men he chose were fishermen. Once, Jesus was teaching on the shore of a lake, and the crowd pressed at him so hard that he was almost pushed into the water. Jesus saw a few boats nearby, and so he climbed into one of them and taught the people from there. The fishermen, to whom the boats belonged to, were a little far away from their boats, washing the nets after a whole night's hard work. When Jesus finished teaching, he asked one of the fishermen to push the boat in which he was sitting into deeper water so that he could catch a lot of fish. Simon the fisherman said, Sir, we fished in that very spot the whole night, but we didn't catch even a single fish. Going to the same spot will not help us in any way. Jesus kept looking at Simon until he finally gave in and pushed the boat and dropped the nets. Simon was amazed. In a moment's time, the net was filled with so many fish that he needed help to pull them up. He realized Jesus was no ordinary man. He begged. I am too much of a sinner to be around you. Please let me go. Don't be afraid. Jesus said. Follow me and I will teach you to fish for people. 
Simon left his boat right there and followed Jesus. Another time, Jesus saw a tax collector sitting at his booth and collecting money. The people used to hate tax collectors because most of them were dishonest. Jesus went up to this tax collector named Matthew and asked him to follow him. Matthew got up right away and followed him. A few days later, Matthew hosted a banquet for all the tax collectors, which Jesus attended too. The religious leaders criticized Jesus for being with the dishonest tax collectors. Jesus said, Healthy people are not the ones who need a doctor. Sick people do. I've come to challenge sinners to stop sinning, and that is why I spend time with them. I don't want to spend time with people who believe they are already good enough for God. Jesus finally finished calling his 12 disciples, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Simon, Judas, and Judas Iscariot. That was a wonderful story, Holy. I am glad you liked it, Gumbo. Now it's time for the question. Tabby, you tell me. Let's see how much attention you've paid. Name four of the twelve Jesus' disciples. Matthew, Simon, Peter, and Judas. Uh-huh. Well done, Tubby. Bye, kids. We'll be back soon. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.